Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Figures out today reveal how many prisoners have been accidentally released from jails in England and Wales. The Ministry of Justice says 71 inmates or suspects were incorrectly freed in the year to March. That's the highest number since records were first kept. Meanwhile, the number of assaults was more than 26,000, with attacks on prison officers at a record high of more than 7,000. Well, with me is our Home Affairs correspondent, June Kelly. So, June, what's behind all of this? Well, Rita, we've had a number of figures today from the Ministry of Justice, and a number of them are not good. At a record high are levels of self-harm, assaults on inmates and staff. And, in fact, assaults on staff are now running at about 20 a day. Now, in terms of the causes, obviously, the whole mixture of um, things. We've got uh, staff shortages, overcrowding, the prevalence of drugs like spice in jails, which means that some inmates are out of control a lot of the time, and also the gang culture in some jails, which has been imported from the outside world. The Prison Officers Association says that all these figures today show that the system is out of control. The government, of course, disagrees and says that there is a recruitment drive going on to get more staff in, and that is underway. Um, and the Justice Secretary, David Liddington, said today that the figures showed the importance of improving safety and security in our prisons. June, thank you. The latest figures from the Ministry of Justice paint a bleak picture of increasing violence in the prison system in England and Wales. There were over 26,000 assaults in the year to March 2017, including more than 7,000 attacks on staff, equivalent to some 20 assaults a day. The Justice Secretary defended the government's record, saying increasing numbers of prison officers were being recruited. There's not enough staff. There's been a 30% cut in staff uh, since 2012. Uh, the lack of discipline appears now to have gone out the door because prison officers do not feel as if they're in control because of the lack of staff. We're now seeing record amounts of prisoners uh, being sentenced. We're now over 86,000 and yet we're seeing a 30% reduction in staff. There is hardly a fictional depiction of prison, or at least of men's prisons in particular, that doesn't involve various scenes of extreme violence. And if you were inclined to think that it couldn't be as bad as all that, then it might be time to think again. A new report by the Ministry of Justice itself into what has been going on inside prisons in England and Wales shows a worrying rise in violence on the inside and a surprising number of inmates on the outside who frankly shouldn't be. 70 convicts or suspects were released by mistake in the past year alone. A prison service in crisis, a record 26,000 assaults, more than 40,000 self-harm incidents and 71 prisoners released in error, an average of more than one a week. Stephen Watt says he's served time in 12 prisons. Released earlier this year, he says it's never been so dangerous. There's under staff for a start. And you've got all these drones coming in, dropping drugs down and, and people slashing people for no reason whatsoever, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's unsafe. Do you think there's a direct link between the number of officers on duty and the number of assaults? Yeah, there's a direct link to less prison staff and, and the assaults that's going on at the moment in prisons. Nearly £900 million were cut from the prison budget in state-run jails between 2010 and 2015, a saving of 24%. But in the same period, the number of prison officers also fell by 31%. And while the prison population has risen to over 86,000, there is currently a shortfall of 900 frontline operational staff. Live footage, but man, I'm right in HMP Birmingham. Just before last Christmas, riots at Birmingham Jail. The Prison Officers Association blames staff shortages. Former officer Steve Goff was attacked at another prison while guarding an entire wing on his own. He assaulted me, knocked me out straight away and proceeded to stamp all over my head. And I ended up with uh, serious injuries and it was touch and go whether or not I made it. 
Pentonville Prison, a report in June described it as violent and overcrowded. Pentonville is a clear example of the worrying rise in incidents behind bars. Last October, a prisoner was stabbed to death here. Three weeks later, two inmates escaped. And in six months, there were 200 recorded assaults. I think we should all be concerned about the level of violence within prisons. And I know that the Secretary of State for Justice and the Prisons Minister are also very concerned about this. It's one of the reasons why we are now hiring more prison officers. But despite government promises, the worrying rise in prison violence continues. And Angus is here now. Angus, I've seen various claims traded about this from the government uh, and prison officers associations. What's yeah, your sense of it? A lot of numbers being traded. The government insists it's recruiting new staff, 2,500 new staff, boosting the starting salaries just under mm. £30,000 a year. That's quite attractive to people, you'd think. And saying for the first time in March this year, there was an increase in prison guard numbers based on mm. March last year. The Prison Officers Association says that's all very well, but we're coming from this position where in the early years of austerity, staff numbers were cut by 30%, so we're climbing back from a low base, they argue. But this is a pretty bleak picture of life inside prison. So in your view, is it... In the end, is it austerity? Is it the culture of the prison? What does it basically boil down to? I think in the early years of austerity, many people could accept that the nation needed to tighten its belt. It was a Labour Chief Secretary of the Treasury left that famous note saying there's no money. But what's happening and what people on the front line say is happening in prisons, in the police, in, in the NHS, is that when you cut staff, you also lose experience. And in this case, in, in prisons, that might be an older officer, plenty of experience, being a father figure to younger inmates and able to diffuse a situation before it gets out of hand. Back in December, I was outside Birmingham prison while the unrest was raging inside, and a senior officer told me, well, we've had 20 resignations this week. So when you have an organisation leaking experience, leaking those skills, then I think we're talking about something which is the legacy of austerity in services which are not just about numbers. OK, Angus, thank you very much uh, indeed. I've been getting away with it all